my friend. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we're doing something a little controversial. Yes, it includes some beans. Stick around. You won't want to miss this controversial recipe. Well, friends, did you guess that we were making chili? I have to know in the comments, do you make your chili with beans or no beans? I guess it's just what you were raised with and what you're used to. And here, this Southern girl is used to beans. So today we're gonna be making chili with beans, but we're not just gonna be making chili with a store-bought package. No, no, no. We are gonna create our chili seasonings ourselves. Not only are we gonna be making our chili, but we're also gonna create a delicious jalapeno cheddar corn muffin using my favorite shortcut, Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. You guys are gonna love this simple recipe with just a few added ingredients. We're gonna elevate your cornbread muffin to something that tastes out of this world. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for our jalapeno cornbread muffin recipe for sure. Here's what you're going to need to create our chili. Our chili seasoning mix, two tablespoons of chili, one tablespoon of cumin, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of onion. And you'll mix all of that together. What I would do is use half of this mixture in your chili first and taste it and see then if you want to add in all of it. It's very flavorful. I wish you could smell it. I say it in every video, but it smells so fragrant and so yummy. We're also gonna need our kidney beans. I like to use the dark red kidney beans instead of the chili beans because I like to simmer this for a long time and sometimes those chili beans can kind of break down a little bit. So we stick with the dark red kidney beans. The tomato sauce, this is a 15 ounce can. The fire roasted tomatoes, this is a 14 and a half ounce can. And I like the garlic ones. Sometimes they'll have like oregano and basil and those are great for your Italian dishes. But for chili, I prefer the one with just the garlic. And then finally, we're gonna need to have a six ounce can of tomato paste. You're also going to need one pound of ground beef that we're going to brown. So let's go to the stove now and brown this up. I'm going to brown this ground beef in the same pot that I'm going to make our chili in. So that way, it's only a one dish meal. Once you have your ground beef cooked and drained, you can see I just have it in the pot here. It's already been drained. Now we're just gonna add everything in. So I know that my family likes a lot of spice. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in that full recipe of the chili seasoning. Then we're gonna add tomato sauce and our dark red kidney beans. our fire roasted diced garlic tomatoes and our tomato paste. So we will just add all of this in. Now one thing, anytime you add a tomato sauce to your recipe, you always want to come in and add a can of water. So basically you're just kind of cleaning out this can, but you're also going to dilute this a little bit, which is what you're gonna to need to do. So we're just going to fill up our can, rinse it out. Now, we'll just let that simmer for as long as you would like, at least 30 minutes, but it can simmer all day long and just build those flavors and it's absolutely delicious. This also freezes beautifully.
Now that all of our ingredients are in and we've kind of stirred it up, this is where you would look at it and say, do I need to make this a little thinner? If so, if you don't want a super thick chili, then absolutely just add another can of water to this. Now we're just gonna let this simmer for at least 30 minutes and move on to those jalapeno cornbread muffins. To make our jalapeno corn muffins, we're gonna need a box of Jiffy corn muffin mix. And on the package, it gives you the cooking instructions. And so we're gonna need one egg and a third cup of milk, one jalapeno diced finely, a cup of cheddar cheese, and a cup of frozen corn. Then we're gonna mix all of this together, spray our muffin pans with our, this is just a regular vegetable oil in this Misto sprayer. You know I love it. I will link it down below, it's from Amazon. So we're gonna spray our corn muffin tin and put all of this together and it'll cook in about 15 to 20 minutes. Now that our jalapeno has been diced, we'll simply just add all of our ingredients to a bowl. Now, this may look a little dry, but keep in mind, we have that frozen corn in there that wants it to frost in the oven. It's gonna add just a little bit of moisture. Okay, now that everything is stirred and combined, we're going to spray our muffin pan and get this in the muffin tin. I'm going to use a two tablespoon scoop just to kind of keep it a little bit cleaner. I'm gonna try to squeak out one more scoop here. Usually it makes 10. I'm just gonna scrape this bowl down to see if I can make that little muffin have a little bit more. There's a little bit more. There we go. These go into the oven at 400 for 15 to 20 minutes. Here it is, friends. Hyping hot. Oh, it's so hot. Chili. So now we're just going to top it with some sour cream a sprinkle of cheddar cheese, and a few of those jalapenos. Well, friend, what do you think? Are you gonna try this super simple chili? I think you should. And really, if you don't have all of the seasonings to create that chili seasoning yourself, just use a packet. It's more about having the idea to make chili for a nice fall day than it is to get those ingredients. So don't worry about it. A package of chili mix is just fine. This is gonna be great now or later if you want to freeze it. Perfect for game day, perfect for a random Wednesday night. It's a great meal for your family. I highly recommend it. And those jalapeno corn muffins, oh, you're gonna love those. Now, if that's too spicy for you, if you don't really love spice, then you could definitely just use a can of green chilies instead of that jalapeno that we diced up. So either way, plenty of swaps here, friends. You've got this. It's all about getting food on the table and avoiding that drive-through. That's what we do around here, right? 
If this recipe is one that you like, then give me a like. If you want to stay for more recipes, then subscribe. I would love to have you here. I'm a new channel and I need those subscribers. I need you, friend. So I hope that you join me every week. We'll meet here right in my kitchen and create some yummy meals together. I'll see you soon, friend. Have a great day. Bye.